Welcome to my friends at Dyersburg Primary School. My name is Vanessa Kane. I'm the Children's Director here at MacGyver's Grant Public Library and I'm so excited about your new unit that you are studying. Imagine it, make it. What a wonderful thing to be studying to learn all about your imagination and how to get what's in here onto a piece of paper either by writing words or telling a story with your mouth or maybe drawing pictures with crayons or markers or paint, or maybe sculpting something out of Play-Doh or clay. Are you gonna use your imagination in this unit? Won't that be wonderful? Our first story that we're gonna read is called Imagine That, and it's a lot about pretending. Do you like to pretend? Sometimes do you pretend that maybe you are a dinosaur, or maybe you are a knight in shining armor, or maybe you are a pirate. Have you ever pretended any of that? I have, I still do. It's a fun thing to do, isn't it? So this book is about pretending. It's called Imagine That, Let Your Mind Run Wild. This book is written and illustrated by Yasmeen Ishmael. And it was published by Bloomsbury. I want us to think about what happens in our heads sometimes when we are imagining or daydreaming or pretending. While we read this book, I want you to think if you've ever done this when your mom was talking to you, okay? Lila, have you put your shoes on yet? Lila, what is Lila doing? Is she putting on her shoes? What is she doing? Lila, what are you doing? Nothing. She has her shoes. I see the laces are all undone. And she says, nothing. Let's see what Lila's doing with her shoes. <gasps> I'll fight this fearsome monster and soon he will regret not giving up much sooner to become my faithful pet. So do you see? You see the octopus with all its, all its different legs? And do you see her shoes? with the laces and see how she is trying to catch what she's pretending is an octopus. She's using her imagination, isn't she? She turned her shoes into an octopus. Lila, have you put on your coat? Grandpa will be waiting. What's going on over there? There she's looking at her coat. What's going on over there? Nothing, and do you see what she's got? She's got her scarf and a hat, and there's her coat. And oh my goodness, she is balancing on that stool. Looks like something's happening over there. Flip and spring and zoom and tumble. I won't slip, I never fumble. I boing and bounce, I ping and pong. I'm quick and swift and super strong. It looks like she is at the circus, and there is the elephant and his nose, and there is a zebra under her that's striped. And she is standing on the zebra's back and she is doing a hula hoop, and she has got a ribbon all around the elephant's nose, and she's doing so many things on that stool. Can you see what was maybe the elephant's nose, and what was maybe the zebra, and what some of the things that she had thrown her off of her hands and made those twirly ribbons of her mittens, weren't they? She is using her imagination. I like this book. Okay, let's get going. Take the train. Oh, Lila, what are you doing to that cookie? All right, so there's Mama. She's taking her now. She finally has her coat on. She's got her cookie. Mama's holding her hand. Let's take the train. What are you doing to that cookie? What is she doing to the cookie? Oh, looks like she might eat the cookie. She says, nothing, which means I think she's doing something in her imagination with the cookie. Roar, giants are the loudest of all. We're big and strong and very tall. Fee, fi, fo, and fum, you better hide before I come. She is pretending she's a giant and she's eating the cookie. But the cookie is a person. She's 
Looks like she's wreaking havoc on the city. Did you know that? Wreaking havoc means being very destructive. Lila, Lila, slow down. What are you doing? Let's see what she's doing. What's she gonna say she's doing? Nothing. But she's riding a scooter through a bunch of people, isn't she? And her mama's trying to catch up. There goes Lila. Nothing. I am the queen of super speed. Nothing can stop these noble steeds. I'll crash down mountains and tear through trees. You'll never catch up with me. And there she goes. She's on a chariot. You see the chariot instead of a scooter? That's what the Romans used to take sometimes to go places. And they would strap them to horses and run very, very fast. She's going through all those people on her scooter and pretending she's in a chariot. Let's see what happens next. Lila, look at you, are you getting taller? What have you been doing since I last saw you? So finally they found Grandpa and there he is giving her a hug and there she is taking his hat and putting it on. And she says, nothing. But does Lila mean it when she says nothing? Look, Grandpa put her on his shoulders. Let's see what they've been doing. I'm very busy all the time with things to see and trees to climb up and up right to the sky to wave at birds as they fly by. And there she is. Remember how she was up on her Grandpa's shoulders and now she is up in the trees and she sees a big flamingo, and look at how beautiful the trees are, and there's a monkey on the tree with her, and look how colorful everything is. And there's another bird, and there's, ooh, it looks like a wildcat, and another little bird. She is not with her grandpa, she is in the jungle, because she's using her imagination, and she's pretending. Who are you waving to, Lila? Lila? Oh, Grandpa, can't you see? I was sitting in that tree. She was waving at the bird. Let's see. And like the birds, I'll fly away. I don't suppose you could follow me. She's flying now. That's a fun thing to dream. Have you ever imagined you were flying? Maybe you're a superhero? or a bird, or a pterodactyl. What else flies in the air? Butterfly? Do you think her grandfather can fly with her? Watch out, Lila, here I come. I too can play pretend. There's really nothing to it, and it's so much better with a friend. There's Lila and her grandpa, and now they're both flying. Have you ever played pretend with a friend? I bet you do. I bet you, when you go to the centers, I bet sometimes you go to the kitchen center and you play with your friends, don't you? Maybe you build block castles and you play with your friends. Pretending's a lot more fun with a friend. And this said, for Lila, Max, and Spider-Man. And there's Mama. Mama's sitting on the bench while Lila and Grandpa play pretend. And what are they doing? They're using their imagination. Imagine that. Imagine that. So today, when you go to your centers, I want you to think in your head, how can I make this fun? How can I pretend and use my imagination? And then I want you to be really good for your teachers. And I want you to have a wonderful day. And we will see you very soon when we learn more about Imagine It, Make It.